is it good that there's a little bit more rugby being played? Definitely, it's nice to see a ball in pre-season. It kind of gets the guys' spirits up a bit to know that we're not just going to be running up and down the field and doing things like that. Um, but yeah, no, the, the, the last couple of days we've been talking about our patterns and plays more, we've been doing a bit of uh, team sort of attack, which is really nice, especially for someone like me who's not been in that environment for a while, um, you know, with the team running through plays and just playing a bit of rugby, it's been really good. Um, that's not to say we're not still doing a lot of fitness at the moment and it is really tough um, sort of schedule and there's a lot of work to get through. Um, and I mean, in the grand scheme of things, we've only got this block before we go into games. So we really need to, you know, get, you know, the time we do spend with the ball, it's got to be, um, you know, valuable. We've got to get something out of it. I mean, and I suppose also, there must be a bit of edge there as well, Matt, because you're all, you're all trying to get into that squad. How useful does that make it when you, when you're actually out on the, the training pitch? So there's just that little bit of competitiveness to it. Yeah, there is, and I think of this, I've never been involved in a pre-World Cup camp, but it's kind of similar to a pre-Six Nations camp. You've got a big squad, you know, you kind of know who you're up against and who your real competition is going to be, but um, personally, I just try and, because I've been injured and I'm trying to get back, I, I'm just really focusing on myself and uh, trying to get my skills back up to the level they should be, trying to get my fitness up there. Um, so I, I'm not really thinking about, oh, he did that well, or, you know, he, he's looking good, I mean... I'm just really trying to uh, focus on myself at the moment. How do you find the, the whole, you, you've got this extended period of time together, and I know, I know you've got that at club level, you, you, you train week in, week out, but at national level, how, how different is that experience where you're spending so much time as a squad? It's good, and I mean, it is a bit of a luxury. Um, I think people don't really appreciate, you know, pre-Six Nations, how little time you have together as a squad, and <clears throat> you are pretty much thrown together for a week, um, and then you know, but guys have you know played maybe ten games on the bounce for their clubs, so there's not much you can do that first week. It's all just kind of uh, really low level stuff, and then basically you have one more week and you're in to the Six Nations. So this period of a couple of months um, is a real sort of luxury for the coaches, I suppose, to be able to you know really emphasise their structures and patterns of play. And I think that's why you see the standard of rugby lifted at a World Cup. Guys are much better conditioned. Um, guys have been like, training together every day for the last couple of months and everyone's pretty sharp so um, yeah it, it'll be the same for all teams though I mean we will be firing but I mean the standard as I say will be lifted amongst all the nations so that's what makes it really interesting it's a, it's a dream to play in a World Cup and it's a dream to you know be in contention to win the World Cup um, you know obviously we're a long way from that at the moment we, we need to play our pool games and things like that um, but for me, I mean, I just remember watching the World Cup, obviously, when I was younger, you know, watching, buying DVDs of the World Cup and then after the World Cup and watching games and games and um, I just I just love the whole fact that it's, a, you know, it's a worldwide competition, which we're not really used to. Um, it's such a, a special, rare occasion and um, the eyes of the world are sort of on, on rugby for a, for a short period of time, which is amazing.